Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, we're gonna tie up a, a little midge pattern today. It's a, it's a little zebra midge emerger pattern. Um, it's actually, this one's probably bigger than what I would normally tie, but it's, uh, it's a little easier to see it. This is on a, uh, on a TMC 2488. Uh, it's a size 16 um, caddis hook. Uh, so it's fairly small, um, but it can go obviously a lot smaller than this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, tying this one is gonna be a, it's be a black zebra. We're using 70 UTC denier thread, um, which is a perfect thread, I think, for, for these little guys to help kind of build up the body and get everything to lay flat. Um, so we'll work our, work our way thread down and kind of build up a bit of a thread base. And then we're gonna tie in what's our rib. Obviously it's a midge pattern, so there's not a whole heck of a lot to this fly. But we'll tie our rib in, which is extra small, um, extra small copper wire, silver wire. And we'll take that all the way back to the bend. And go down the bend just a little bit. And then we'll work our way all the way back up to, all the way up to just behind the eye of the hook. Should have a good solid thread base and I don't typically taper these much at all. Um, we build up a little bit of a taper, I think, but try to keep the body relatively small and take that all the way up to right behind the eye of the hook. I should just helicopter that off. Um, all right, now we're going to tie in, uh, this is just a really, just a small little clump of uh, fibers um, for poly yarn. And it's, I uh, can lay that down a little bit longer than what we ultimately are going to want. Bring that back a little bit further. A couple wraps to get that thing secured down. And obviously with these little guys, um, literally every, every wrap you make counts. So don't do any more than you need to. And we'll to lay down relatively flat and we'll trim that off in a minute um, and then all we're gonna do is just take a little piece of peacock curl and we'll tie that in and we're just gonna do a couple just a couple wraps of peacock curl build up the little thorax of this fly doesn't take much And you can take your thread, because this peacock curl is so brittle, take your thread and you can just throw a wrap or two through the peacock curl and that'll help to, just in case it breaks, it'll help to extend the life of the fly. Throw in a whip finish. And trim. Our little emerger, which a little wing case. There we go. That's a pretty simple little um, little zebra midge with a little emerger added to it. You can obviously tie this fly without the emerger, and it's um, works great. Uh, but sometimes it's all it takes is that little little tuft to makes it look like it's getting ready to hatch. That makes all the difference. So there you go. A simple little fly and. Uh, good luck out there. Thanks.